uh, from the book L Little Animal Stories. By nobody. By nobody. A wise little mother. One day, Bobby and his daddy were walking through the woods. Suddenly, a partridge flew up quite near them and then lighted on the ground almost at their feet. And then the little bird began to act very strangely, very strangely indeed. She bristled up her feathers. She ran this way and that along the path. Then she hopped along the ground, almost as if she had a broken wing. She walked in front of Bobby, always keeping just out of reach. And it looked as if the little bird was trying to get his attention and make him follow her. When Bobby walked, Mrs. Partridge walked very slowly in front of him. When Bobby ran, she would run just fast enough to keep well ahead of him. There's the bird running. You can't see it if I do that. Or you can. You can. Yeah. When this had been going on for a few minutes, the little partridge suddenly rose in the air and flew away. Daddy, what do you suppose made her act that way? Asked Bobby as he went back to the place where her father had been standing. I thought the poor little bird had a broken wing, but she could fly well enough when she wanted to. What do you think she was trying to do? Perhaps this will answer your question, said his father, showing Bobby a tiny baby partridge he was holding. He's just holding oh, him. what a dear little bird. Where did you get it, Daddy? asked Bobby as he gently stroked the little creature's feather. Well, when he started to follow the mother bird, I picked this little thing up. There must have been a dozen of these babies, but they hid so quickly. I only caught this one, said his father. But I didn't see them, exclaimed Bobby. No, and that is just what the mother, mother bird wanted. She was keeping you busy watching her. She didn't want you to see the little ones. When she saw... That she had led you far enough away from them and had given them a chance to hide, she was ready to fly away. She was so busy attracting your attention that she did not notice me. That's why I was able to catch this little thing, said D Daddy. Mrs. Partridge is a very wise mother, isn't she, Daddy? asked Bobby. Yes, she is. And as soon as she sees anyone she thinks may harm her little babies, she tries to attack, attract attention to herself. She hops along the ground, pretending she has a broken wing or is hurt in some way. Then, while you are watching her, the little birds run and hide themselves. May I take this baby bird home with me, Daddy? asked Bobby. No, I don't think you had better do that. I don't think you would be happy in a cage, and it might die, replied Daddy. So Bobby's father put the tiny partridge down on the ground, and in a minute, he stomped on it, and it disappeared into a clump of the bushes where he kicked it, and his mother would sure to be fine its corpse. Horrifying. That was it. That's the end. Night, night. Night, night. There's the end. Wow. These are messed up. Look at him. With the, he's throwing he just, away the dead body. Kidnapped He just the, threw it. Like he threw it. Like, he just threw it on the ground. And just stepped on it. That's so messed up. Step on it, but. This next one's called Billy and the Woodpeckers, but we're not reading that till next week. Alternate ending. No, I don't think you had better do that. I don't think you would be happy in a cage. And it might die, replied Daddy. So Bobby's father put the tiny partridge down on the ground, and in a minute, the mother partridge came flying through the air. She had seen exactly what had been going on the whole entire time and was trying to warn Bobby that his father was a cruel, hideous man that kidnapped baby birds only to put them to their death. She attacked the daddy and he landed in a clump in the bushes where the mother bud bird pecked his eyes out so he could never see 
or commit evil crimes ever again. Remember, the baby birds will always be safe. The baby bird lived happily ever after. Yeah. And so did... I already forgot that kid's name. Bobby. So did Bobby. The end. Yay. Yeah. Night, night.